How's it going everybody? My name is MDKWLAN and today we have a request video from YouTube user Aldizabob. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, man, but <laughs> you have an interesting username, to say the least. So his request is that we install XFCE on Arch Linux. Now, the reason why this is more difficult than installing LXDE is because XFCE itself does not come with a display manager. So certain desktop environments that you will download and install do not come with a display manager of their own which for any other operating system that's not really a problem because like Ubuntu for example has its own display manager and it won't use any others that's why you know you have the requis the other requisites of say KD Kbuntu or Lubuntu they have different display managers as well so LUBuntu uses uh, LXDM, which, you know, is obviously changed and twisted for LUBuntu's theme, and the same with any other derivative of uh, the actual Ubuntu. So, with Arch, you kind of need to uh, pick a display manager for almost any desktop environment that you install, and that's not really a problem except when you get some of them that don't have a display manager so for example XFCE doesn't and I believe KDE doesn't so um, I'm not too sure of any others because I know GNOME has its own and I know LXDE has its own so there's also another problem is that the ArchWiki page for uh, Slim which is a display manager that's suggested is not updated for uh, systemd stuff so because it's not updated for system D, I'm not exactly sure how to do it through system D. And rather than feed you guys bullshit information, um, I'm going to do it through a method I know and actually trust. So what we're going to do is actually use a part of LXDE called LXDM, which is the display manager for LXDE for XFCE. So we're going to get very acronym heavy here. This is Linux, I guess. So it's not really that bad and it works I've been able to uh, do it over again a couple times and here's the install process alright so now we're gonna get installing but before we do that we want to make sure that we have the update the most up-to-date version of arch so pacman tech capital S Y Y which currently the most up-to-date version is the 3.7 kernel so should be fully updated for me and also make sure that you have the virtual bo virtual box guest editions installed um, if you don't know how to do that please check out my LXDE install guide and I go over how to install it in there so after the Pac-Man Tech Capital S Y Y we want to do Pac-Man Pac Tech Capital S Y U and I'll make sure everything's up to date so we want to download two files so uh, Pac-Man Tech Capital S and we want to download LXDM and then download it obviously and we want to download a second one which is Pac-Man TAC capital S XFCE4 sure you have four. integrate to download that now that you have that um, we need to edit our LXDM file so nano slash etsy LXDM LXDM.conf and we want to uncomment this line that says session user slash bin start LXDE. We want to uncomment it. And we want to also change the last part to say start XFCE4. Now if you're nano, hit control X, press Y to agree, and X, um, enter to write it. So now we need to um, start LXDM on our system D. So that's system CTL enable. LXDM dot service S E R V C E and then I'll set up a sim link. So now if you reboot and get your typical Syslinux startup here. That error message is associated with the VirtualBox video edition of guest editions. I don't think the guest editions were updated for 3.7 kernel yet, but still works for whatever reason. 
so it'll auto adjust the size here and there you go LXDM is working so log in with your only account which is rude at this moment and give it a minute XFCE is installed use the default config and then I'll load the launcher down here and this is XFCE obviously this is the bare bones of XFCE so you'd obviously want to install like a web browser or anything else so um, something interesting to note is uh, this Pac-Man Tech Capital S HTOP which is a program I use to monitor my uh, server so I'll agree to download it because it's not that big and with this program you can actually see how little Arch Linux uses this is 124 megabytes of RAM so it's freaking next to nothing almost so that's how you install X XFCE using LXDM for Arch Linux uh, thank you Aldizabob for your request this was an interesting install I learned something new and hopefully you all learned something new uh, let me know if this was helpful down in the comments and give me a comment or a PM if you have any suggestions for videos that's it have a good one everybody take care